But y'all not ready for that conversation. I don't know, it just felt like so satisfying. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's Peyton, and today I'm back with another video. As you all have read by the title, today I'm coming at you guys with this really quick reinstallation video tutorial so i wanted to do something different for this video luckily for me i got to reinstall this wig for this look but unluckily for you guys i did not do i did not feel myself installing it for the first time so the only thing that's missing from my installation is cutting the lace other than that i did everything else just as i usually would but i'm gonna go ahead and start off by showing you guys how i remove my lace wigs and clean them and then i'm going to proceed to show you guys how i reinstall them after cleaning them it's really easy all you need is a couple of materials to remove your lace from your wig but before i get started don't forget to hit that subscribe button so this is how the hair is going to start off um it's all dirty as you guys can see so i'm just wetting the hair right here this is actually easier to do when you wash your hair or in the process of conditioning it but since i didn't wash and condition this hair to reinstall it i just went ahead and wet it and i'm using some alcohol some cotton balls and i'm just getting those cotton balls drenched in alcohol this is honestly a really easy process so just take your time when you're doing it and slowly just rub the alcohol off so you're just pressing into the lace and just getting deep in there and as you're pressing you're kind of just like peeling the glue back as you do this whole process and usually i use like maybe three four maybe five cotton balls to remove all of the glue off of the lace but just take your time it might take longer um if your hair is dry if you don't wash it so that's why i recommend washing it or wetting it in the process and then when you're finished calm all of that glue out and your lace should be good to go just like this perfect okay so this is what my wig cap looks like after i cleaned it so um i'm gonna reinstall it i really do the reinstallation the same as a regular installation the only thing is you're not cutting the lace but sometimes i do have to cut the lace when hair kind of sheds from the frontal the lace frontal or the lace closure so i'm probably gonna cut the lace a little bit um closer to the edge and i'm using this for the lace but the most important part is making sure your lace is clean and making sure your forehead and your skin is clean usually when i reinstall my wigs i wash my hair or i'll just clean my scalp with alcohol and the cotton swab and then i'll make sure i would just wash my face um so i don't really like to put wigs on with makeup or if i do have on makeup i just want to make sure the part where i'm applying the lace is going to be clean apply it on my head so i'm gonna cut some of the lace off Now, I originally installed this with the side part, but I'm just going to do a middle part because that's the mood that I'm in. The side part was really cute though. I'll put some pictures. Yeah, I'm going in with Ghost Bond. Take it like it's 
Okay, you guys, so that was it for my reinstall and my lace cleaning tutorial. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hop right into the specs and how I like this hair this far. So I'll let you guys know right away, I have not been wearing this hair for that long. I've only had it in for about not even two weeks, but I've liked it thus far. This is their MLG Curly 13 by four bob wig and I got it in 14 inches. I did not cut it or manipulate it or do anything to it aside from just bleaching the knots and installing it. And I also plucked and customized the lace. I found it to be really easy to customize the lace and also to customize the hairline and one thing i will say right off the bat this lace is a really good lace it's very transparent the only thing i will say about this unit that i'm not the biggest fan of is just a little big for my head but i guess that's my fault i don't think i sent them a cap size either they sent me a cap size i was just a little bit too big or maybe it's one size fits all and it's just a little big on my head but it's not big in the back it's more so big in the front so like the lace comes down real far on my forehead and i noticed if i when i install this wig the first two times i tried to do it like gluing it all at once like gluing it down all at once instead of doing it in sections and when i did that i noticed that the lace will kind of like shrivel up and kind of like you know kind of like you want to like shovel up like a towel and i noticed that only happens when when a wig or like the cap is too big for my head so that's the only thing i will say so i think it's better to just personally just install this in sections but other than that customizing the baby hair was really easy bleaching the knots was really easy i did kind of over bleach it but i did tone it with my purple shampoo so i like how the lace came out i think the lace is really transparent this is ali grace hair and i'm going to do the little unboxing this is what the wig came in the wig did come really quickly it came in about four days i did install it like a week after i got it in the mail so it came in this bag the only thing i don't like is that it didn't have like packaging but it's okay i think the wig was still safe in this little bag inside the bag they sent a bunch of little cheap eyelashes these are cute i might wear them and try them out for y'all the hair companies have been doing their thing with these eyelashes i'm telling y'all like y'all might not want to believe it but they be sending some cute lashes um then they sent the hair in this little bag it had the netting and of course the white packaging on the inside to keep the wig safe on the bag it reads 14 inch bob curly wig 13 by 4 180 percent density that's what this wig is and i'm pretty sure this is a medium cap and i think usually i get a small cap but yeah i'm pretty sure there's a medium cap so i will say the cap size there's also an adjustable strap and four combs i believe three or four combs on the inside so yeah i believe it's, th it's three combs though two on this side and one at the back but the cap in the back of the wig it blocks the adjustable strap so i can't i couldn't even and tighten the adjustable strap as much as I wanted to so that's another thing that I kind of don't like about but that's kind of just like the craftsmanship of the wig the hair itself is really really nice um I haven't had any issues but also keep in mind you guys like I said I've only been wearing this hair for two weeks so a lot of times hair will switch up after like a month or so of wearing it so just be wary of that but I honestly haven't had any issues detangling um washing it I have washed this hair two times and this is my third time reinstalling it um I did wear this hair to Hawaii I installed it once out there and then I I reinstalled it again because it was so hot my wig came off definitely not recommend wearing no wigs to hawaii but um i took a risk because i thought i was going to be able to you know wing it last time i wore a wig to hawaii it worked for me but that's probably because i was staying in a hotel with really good ac but this time i was staying in an airbnb with no ac so my wig was sweating out every chance i got so yeah i did wash it twice i think the hair looks really good i put the shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curly hansen smoothie and i used my I used my detangling comb and that's usually Usually, that's what I did like every day it was a really easy maintenance just wetting the hair putting the curl enhancing smoothie and then combing it out it would probably take me like five minutes to detangle this hair so yeah but you guys know it could always just <laughs> switch up if you have this hair for a little bit longer haven't had this hair that long so I just want y'all to keep that in mind but I definitely will do a little update later on and I'm probably going to reinstall this wig later on too I feel like I didn't really get to wear this hair as long as I wanted to like I like when I wear my wigs for like at least a month so that's basically it for this unit um overall I really do like this hair uh like i said it's 14 inches i don't really need to stand up but i guess i can show you guys what it looks like from the back this is what it looks like in the back when i stand up this is where the 14 inches comes down to me so this is the 14 inches and i really do like it um last thing they sent was a little contact card in their bag really really handy and they also give you a little 
promo discount code but i'll also have my own promo code in the description box below so you guys can get some money off so that was basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm going to put all the information in the description box below if you guys want if you guys are interested in purchasing this hair if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a big giant thumbs up make sure you guys comment down below if you guys have tried ali gray's hair before if you guys want to try it if you guys are feeling this look if you guys like the side part more or the middle part i think i like the side part a little bit more i thought the middle part would be just a little bit different um i don't know it's more so like a summer look but i feel like it's gonna be cute for the fall as well just because i feel like this hair is just gonna go so well with like nudes and browns and oranges and those are my favorite colors in the fall um i think this is a really cute vacation slash summer hair but i also think it's like one of those wigs it's like kind of perfect for any season hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye